Welcome. We're going to take a look today at a cool tool from the National Archives of the United States of America. This one is called their Digital Vaults. And in order to get to this site, you go to the digitalvaults.org, www.digitalvaults.org, and you'll land on this splash page. First thing you'll see here is eight graphical representations that allow you for a starting point for getting into the archives and looking at the digital vault information. There is a way to collect um, data as you go through this process. You can build your own collection down here in the tab. You can backtrack and keep a running list of things that you've seen. You can take a pathways challenge. That's what we're going to do today. You can do a search by tag and you can create your own movie or poster. So you can see if I hover on one of these images, I get a pop-up screen that talks about um, this record, the Constitution of the U.S. I can move that record to the center or view it in detail. As I click on that to view in detail, I get a blow-up of that image. I can zoom in, get a closer look. I can go to page two of that little representation here in writing about what the document is, in this case, the Constitution of the U.S., a little overview. You see these tags here that are associated with that um, and the relationship to there. So if I click on this to add to my collection, it will go into my collection box and keep a running total of the things I've looked at today. So let's close that up one time. Actually, click on that, it moves to the center, you see the fly around screen that bring in just a whole host of other resources associated with this starting document in this case. I've got uh, on the left hand side here some filters that are up in place. These are the tags. As I hover over the tags I see the association words that go along with this document. So I click on Congress for instance or federal government I see the associated links with other images, graphs, charts, pictures, audio recordings, videos, and so on. So let's take in this case, let's connect with George Washington. Bring up some associated links to George Washington and this particular archive item. I can hover again over the individual representations associated with this and see what I've got. It's a picture of Washington Takes Command as I move that one to the center. I will see another list of associated images, files, and so on come to play. So these filters allow me to play with uh, what I want to see, whether it's um, simply images or photographs, I can filter it that way. So then I'm able to bring in just photographs that are associated with this particular image. So I've got those, and let's say I want to also put that one into my details, and I'm going to add that also to my collection. So that's just how you kind of move around within this tool to be able to find and to locate and to retrieve items for you. So I can go back and change this to all types of documents. I'll see a lot more kind of fly into the screen. Kind of a neat feature there. So once we've got that, I want to then show you one of this cool features you're going to be able to do today is to actually take a pathways challenge. So in order to do this you're going to select one of these pathways and there are I think about eight of them and you can do all of them as you go forward. So let's take a look at one today of coming to the new world. So here comes the challenge. We're going to take a look at this item and see Immigrants first arriving in New York City gazed upon this statue, which was donated by the French. So I'm kind of looking around, and maybe I can find that, maybe I can't. So let's go back to the tags here for a second. I see I've got a couple of helpers. Immigrants, Ellis Island, and New York. So if I click on immigrants, I might see some things. Ellis Island, I see some things. New York, I see some things. So New York was one of the key words that was in the descriptor down here. So I'm going to click that just to see if I can get a little bit more zoomed in. I can cycle over here and move those images around. On the right-hand side, I'm clicking to kind of bring them around. I think, okay, so I might take a guess that one of these images 
might have to do with the first image arriving for immigrants. So I'm going to pick this record. And I got it. Correct. Here's your first clue. Goes on to the second clue. Posters in World War I encouraged people to buy war bonds, and this one focused on immigrants. Hmm. So over here, I've got some ideas again about these ideas about immigrants and filters I can play with or look back and look at the tags. So I'm starting to look around a little bit about maybe I want to take a look at the filter this time. And this one I want to see maybe a poster. Hmm, that may have narrowed it down a little bit. So there's appealing to immigrants. Okay, and Lady, Lady Liberty's Challenge, so on. Let's see what this one, I'm gonna look at this record in detail. Your duty, buy United States governance bonds. Oh, maybe that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pick this record and see what happens. I got it. So I go on that way. So the challenges and pathways kind of take on this effect to it of using the tools, the features of the program. And as you go through and complete them, you'll be able to document that you've completed that pathway and be able to go on to the next one and see what else is available. There's one on Civil War, American Working Women, Coming to America, We've got the American Ingenuity, the right to vote, uh, billions of pages of textual records, charts, architectural drawings, 20 million still photographs, billions of machine readable data sets. So you've got a lot to look at here, but it's a neat feature of how you can manipulate and use these resources um, as a student to find and produce, create what you'd like.